have noticed advertisements are everywhere on your TV, on your radio, your newspaper, your computer. Mm -hmm. Is there a common pattern with these advertisements and women? And what is that pattern? Well, actually, you know what kind of freaks me out is on Facebook now, the ads that pop up, they're based off of your interests. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if because it says it because I'm single or whatever, but I'm constantly <laughs> getting like, Are you like, serious? Do you want to oh, date a man? No. Come to this website and meet all of them. Like, I hate the ones with like the creepy babies, but that's just mm -hmm. like, I see those a lot too. Anyway. <laughs> well, just like, like the make a baby make, ones yeah. with the. And like you can put someone's mm -hmm. picture and your picture together and it forms What is that together. advertising? It's a website. It's a website. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. just going off topic, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now, have, you, have you noticed any patterns though with women and how they represent women in general? Well, I, I'm in an um, advertising class and we also talk about that a lot and I'm in a women's health class and we talk about the controversies of that and like we do see a lot of that nowadays mm -hmm. more than ever. Um, just even like as we were talking about Heidi, you know, just like the image that we're getting of women's figures or like the image that we're getting of what is beautif beautiful or like things like that mm -hmm. um, are really affecting the women yeah. today. It's always okay. super skinny, big boobs. Yeah, I went hair, to uh, a thing on campus called Friends Don't Like Girls Fat Talk and one of the surprising statistics was that 90% of girls would rather be hit by a truck than be fat. Oh my gosh. Which yeah. is pretty surprising. Now, wow. I guess during middle school when you go through puberty, these ads probably affect you more because your body's changing and then you see all these beautiful women. Were any of you personally affected by that or had friends who had low self-esteem? Mm -hmm. Well, one of my friends actually, she um, she was really pretty, but she was a little, she wasn't even like fat, she was like chubby and like we all thought she was cute. But then um, I just saw her like a few weeks ago and she was anorexically skinny and wow. I was like I was like who are you and um, I found out that she was anorexic mm -hmm. and it's I mean like most I've heard that um, a lot of women or girls out there are anorexic or bulimic or whatnot in some form and they just are so embarrassed that they can't say it but they are you they know are. So. Yeah. because the media provides us with this unrealistic and unattainable mm -hmm. image yeah. of this skinny person and almost 100% of pictures are photoshopped. Yeah. Right. It's exactly. so easy like just to like click on yeah. like that mole Absolutely. or that freckle or that pimple and like, yeah. oh, it's gone. Now, it totally there, breaks that reality. Are there certain organizations or industries that stand out to you who, I guess, have these women more in their ads more than other organizations? Like the faux pas women, woman, like the fake woman like you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. is that what you mean? Oh, yeah, okay. I guess like, in rap videos, you know, right. they always have the bootylicious the chicks. Bootylicious mm -hmm. women. Or I guess <laughs> in like alcoholic mm -hmm. advertising. Or even advertising. cigarette commercials. Like cigarette right. commercials. But even like in rap videos with these half naked women, it's telling girls that we need to be sexy. It's so we provocative and just like and absurd. Skin. And it's sending the wrong message to even younger kids. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, Dove has these ads that promote body image. Have any of you seen these ads or yes. want to explain them? I've seen the um, the one that particularly stands out in my mind is the one with the older woman who was naked actually mm -hmm. in this magazine spread and had gray hair. I mean, she was a bit fuller and like she was beautiful and they were prom promoting that beauty, that yeah. beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and age and color and it's just like Dove's taking that step out of the box. They were the first ones, I think, the first company mm -hmm. to really show some skin and shed some light on yeah, that. Yeah, and the other one was of a little girl, just her on the camera, and then it flashes through all these, the provocative ads, like a very quick montage of all of them, and it really shows you just how much girls see every day. Do you think other organizations will follow in Dove's footsteps, or will they stick to the mold of the I know skinny? That, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know that, um, like high end fashion or them they are they still it's, are not uh, it's the baby serious. doll image. They'll mm -hmm. say they'll say that they're all for plus size models, but really but all their sample sizes are in twos and fours. Right. A video that made fun of the dove video where it was this Asian guy and they cropped him to look like Zach Zach Efron. Oh my gosh. And at the end it says we want you to look like this. We don't like looking at ugly people. Wow. Because oh, no. basically okay. that's what the industry is telling us, that mm -hmm. we want to see skinny, pretty women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I know Glamour magazine, uh, it's not in an ad, it was in an article, but they used plus size models for something. And they didn't like, it was cool because they didn't like outright say, hey, we're using plus size models. They just used they them just used casually. Them. And it got so much positive reader response. Like, I've never seen that much in, like, the letters to the editor. That's how it should be, because mm -hmm. all women are different. Some women are not going to be skinny, no matter how much they diet, how much they exercise. It's not going to happen. Yeah, and it's so surprising when you see, like, TV. When I watch TV, I think I see, like, more than, like, 10 ads for, like, diet pills. And, like, that's not healthy It's not you. healthy. It's not it's... healthy at all. And so many women are buying these products, and so many women are trying these ways, and not gonna really work without exercise and eating well yourself. All right, well I have to cut this short. We have to take a quick break and we'll be right back.